and I had a lot of fun making and experimenting with the flipper of doom. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the flipper and how to code it so it goes into the perfect position every time just before a battle. Whishka! The flipper's just a flat surface, so I just try to make a flat plate and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, let's have a look at a couple of battles and then let's learn how to code it. this robot so it can travel around the board but when it sees another robot it charges towards it and activates the flipper. I'm just going to quickly dump the program so you can pause the video and copy this side of it and then I'm going to show you how to make the weapon behave itself as best as possible. So this is just a basic setup to get the robot to spin at the start and then after two seconds go forward a little bit slower than it was spinning and if it sees the white line, if it sees the border, it's going to go at a faster speed. It's going to go backwards for one and a half rotation, and then it's going to slow down and spin for two rotations. And if it doesn't see the white line, it's just going to go forwards at a speed of 40. So that will make it spin, head towards the white line, and then go backwards and turn if it sees the white line, otherwise go forwards. But that won't activate the distance sensor. If you use this block here, we're going to say when the distance is closer than 30 centimeters, then we're going to start moving straight ahead. But also, we're going to activate our weapon, our flipper. So this is where it gets interesting. We need to make the motor, on mine I've plugged it into port F. So you can change it to port F and we're just going to make it go 0.25 of a turn. In other words, a quarter of a turn one way and you can duplicate that and then make it go a quarter of a turn the other way. And we need that to repeat a few times. I like it to repeat five times. So every time the weapon's activated, the flip is going to go up and down five times. But it's really important that you can get it to start in the right position. So there's a, a good block here that says go to the shortest path to a certain position. And when you turn on your robot, I'm just going to turn on my robot. My flipper is plugged into port F. The motor that controls my flipper is in port F. And if I move that up and down, you can see that the number changes of how many degrees the motor has turned. Now what I need to do is put it in the ultimate position to start with, which is about that position there. It's about 169 degrees. So that's flat on the ground and that's where I want it to start every single time. Yours might be different. You might have a completely different number there. Depends on how you built your robot. But whatever that number is there, wherever it is in the ultimate position to start with, that's the number that you need to copy into here. So let's type in 169. That's going to put it back in the right position after it's gone up and down a few times. But we also want it to go in the right position at the very start. So let's grab this same block and we're going to plug it, and we're going to put it over here when we set the movement mode at the very start. We are going to make sure it's the same as our motor, port F on mine, and then start at 169 degrees. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't matter if it was 170 or even 165, but to be exact, that's what I typed in. So now when I press play, it's going to go straight, that flipper is going to go straight to the right position before it even sees the other robot, before it even spins. And that guarantees it always starting and finishing 
in the right position. Let's watch four entertaining battles just before I show you how to make the flipper. So when it comes to the flipper, basically I just use the frame like this, added a few yellow bits and I wanted to fill it up full of bricks. So I put some a black frame in there. They fit nicely, but they don't really sit there unless you hold it in place using something like a red plug. So I got one of these red plugs, put it in there and it kind of held it in the right spot. And then I put one of those big grey H's in there. I mean the ultimate goal with this is just to make it flat and strong. So just use any pieces you can to stick into the sides to make it secure. And then I used some of those little blue pieces to, so I could hold some flat yellow pieces. So I tried to make it as flat as I could. So I used these pieces because they're nice and flat to make it a bit stronger by placing the shortest little blue pieces in the holes first and then sticking the yellow pieces on top and then squashing it all down. But the yellow arms are good because the yellow arms have got like a cross hole at each end, which means it's going to interact with the motor really well. If you put an axle through there, they don't spin, do they? And it's just gonna tilt the um, flipper up and down if you put it into a motor. So that's it. You just gotta attach something like that to your robot and you've made yourself a flipper. When I do BattleBots, we have a 30 centimeter rule and my robot fits inside the 30 centimeter square, so we're good to go. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, can you please do that immediately as you watch these awesome battles between the flipper and the brick wall of doom.
just started memberships on my channels and at the time of making this video, these were my first three members. So congrats on being Robot Man fans, you three, and thanks for your support. Don't forget, you can press the join button on my channel to join and become a member yourself and I'll give you a shout out.